Hello, this is the iPad Air, the new iPad Air, and this is a 3G model. It is a 128GB black T-Mobile 3G model. And let me explain why I got this instead of the cheaper version. Normally I will go with the 16, uh, see this is my iPad 4, normally I will go with the 16 gigabytes and be happy with. And I will never get a 3G model, but in this iPad Air, I purchased a 3G model and upgraded to 128 gigabytes of hard drive space. And um, this is the first time for me to buy the most expensive upgrade Apple has. And the reason being that I bought the 3G version of the iPad Air because T-Mobile is offering 200 megabytes, which is not a lot, but it's still free. 200 megabytes free 3G, and sometimes I use 3G very sparely since I have 3G on um, 4G on my phone, on my iPhone. So for iPad, I just use it to check emails and do other stuff with it. So this is why. I got a 3G model um, for T-Mobile because it's free, free 200 uh, gigabytes, uh, megabytes of per month. So let's turn it on. And this iPad comes with the ISO 7, as most of you know. The Apple logo got bigger. I don't, I don't know. I actually like the little Apple logo before, but I guess it takes some time to get used to the new Apple. So it's still in wrap, and I'm gonna light the booth for now. Okay, well that was pretty fast. So as always, uh, new Apple product comes with this little, um, I guess, gift packet. It probably has a stick, Apple logo sticker in there, but I never opened this, so it's on the side. And you have the new lightning cable, not so new anymore, but still, it's new to me anyway, new lightning cable. It's over a year, I guess, I have four had it. I had an iPad 4. Um, I, I don't know. I, another reason I bought this because uh, I'll, I'll get to it later. Like The other reason I bought this is because I, ha I, I have an iPad 4 already. So, so right here. And it's worked perfectly except it's a little bit too big for my purpose, for my use. And I'll explain later why I, want, I had to get the iPad Air for the purpose I'm using the iPad with. So you have the little USB charger and uh, let me just, so for those of you are watching, you want to make sure you have 12 watt and pretty important. You need more, have more than 0.5, well, let me see. Yeah, you want to have more than 0 0.5 ampere from the charger you're getting. So whatever you're getting, you want to make sure it's 12 watt and you want the ampere to be at least 0.5. Not less, but more. So if you're buying a, uh, another third party charger, you, again, you want 12, volt, 12 watt and point five, at least 0.5 MP. Okay, so this is the new iPad uh, ISO, iOS 7. Hello screen. Welcome screen. I, I'm not a big fan of ISO 7, to be honest. Um, so this is the initial setup. You get some more light because for some reason my camera looks pink okay so this is the new setup I'm not a big fan it looks almost like a Kindle Fire to be honest you know, I don't know why Apple went through this new design I ISO 7 I miss the old design but whatever it works so I'm in United States choose Wi-Fi I'm gonna skip this step and can I even skip this step? Oh. I don't want you to see my Wi-Fi, so there. I'll enter my password so you don't see. Here. Okay, then press join. Come on. Right again. Okay, so it's loading. Um, so right out of the box, the battery has a eighty-three percent charge, which is pretty good, considering this is in the packaging for a while since it was 
packed. Uh, I don't know. I don't want. I, I don't want to enable location service. So um, it's probably better for the battery anyway. Um, I'm gonna set out this as a new iPad for now, and I'll do the setup with my um, iPad 4. I'm gonna restore it first with iPad 4 later. Um, I have to save it. So I'm gonna skip the stab of the Apple ID since I'm gonna enter that all that information later. Turn some conditions, blah blah blah. I'm probably selling a kidney to Apple, but okay, I have two kidneys. Agree. Whatever it is. I don't wanna create a password. So don't add passwords. Please don't add passwords. It's just an iPad. I mean what's gonna be on my iPad that people can well if they have my iPad they have everything already, so passwords are gonna help. Uh, no salary for now. It drains battery. Do not send. I don't want to, you know, waste battery. Okay, getting started. Okay, so this is the new, um, new iPad Air. It's pretty much the same. Let me compare this with the, um, iPad 4 I have. It's, I play with it in the store. Oh. So this is my iPad 4, I had the setting to be the lowest and brightness. Okay, so now I changed the brightness in iPad 4. Now it's brighter than my iPad Air because the setting for iPad Air, okay, I also set it to the brightest level. It has a uh, plastic wrapping. I'm going to keep it, uh, I'll take it off. I was going to say I'm going to keep it on for now, but it's kind of hard for me to do this right now. I have one hand, or maybe not. There we go. So. This is the new iPad Air. And, ah, okay, that's hard to do this one. I'm trying not to break my new iPad. Hold on, one second. One second. A little bit of adjusting. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, so this is the iPad 4. This is a new iPad Air. As you can see, the iPad 4 is about something. Look, it's almost an inch, a little bit. Yeah, it's almost an inch wider for the iPad 4, which is the precise reason why I had to get an iPad Air, which I'll show you why in, in soon. Um, in a little bit. So yeah, that, that one inch difference make a huge difference for me and people in my, um, people, I'll show you soon. Okay, people who wear a white coat basically. So if uh, anybody wears a white coat, this, spoiler alert, um, this iPad Air fits into the white coat pocket. And that's exact, that's the only, that's the mostly prime reason why I needed an upgrade to iPad Air. So... My logic is that if I need an iPad Air, um, 3G is free, so I must get the 3G model. But then again, I need more than 16 gigabytes of hard drive space or solid state hard drive space, rather, for my new iPad. And every upgrade from Apple is that you have the 16, you have the uh, 32 gigabytes hard drive space uh, upgrade, you, it's like doubling the hard drive and then after that it's uh, 64 and then the 128. So every hundred dollars you add onto your upgrade, you get double amount of hard drive space. So essentially, I since I have to buy the 3G model anyway and I need to get an iPad Air, so the only difference is between this model, 128 gigabytes, it's that there's three hundred dollars difference between the sixteen gigabytes to one hundred and twenty eight. I don't know. To me, three hundred dollars for one hundred uh one one hundred gigabytes more of solid state hard drive on my iPad sounds like an okay deal. I I don't know. It's yeah. It's, it's it sounds like a because I I can use a sixteen. I need at least 20, 32. So that means I, there's only two hundred. 
dollars difference between the 20, uh, 32, I need at least 32 gigabytes of space for the video I put on. So no, it's between this model, the most expensive one, 128 gigabytes, and the 32 is only $200 difference. And $200, I kind of can justify the 90 gigabytes of hard drive space I'm getting. So that's my logic. I don't know if that agree with everybody, but $200 is for 200. It's like $2 for a gig. That's kind of okay in my book. Uh, the only downside of paying so much for a silly iPad is um, what if you lose it? You lose, somebody steal this iPad, voila. All the investment you put in, uh, nothing. So that's why I wanted to get the 16 gigabytes like I always did, but I am not getting the most expensive iPad anyway due to the um, since I needed the hard drive space and it's only $20 difference. Anyways, okay, get back to the point. So, testing speed, as you can see before, um, the turning on speed for the iPad Air was extremely fast. I was surprised how fast it is. And, oh, well, this iPad is running low on battery. And, okay, I can retest that, but I could test for Safari. Let's see how fast Safari is. Unfortunately, I'm holding the camera with one of my hands, so I can't really, you know, press on um, same time. Oh, actually, I might be able to. Let me try. I have one hand, two fingers. Which I have crap. So let me do that again. Eh, it's hard to do this one hand. Impossible. Ready, 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 ready. Oh, oh, come on. This is not working. Alright, this is almost impossible. I need to get a tripod. I have a tripod. I don't know where I put it. It's probably on my car. God. Okay, maybe my finger's not long enough. There we go. Okay, I cannot do the speed test. They pretty much about the same speed. You know how iPad 4 has like, I guess the A6 chip? iPad, um... Air has A7 chip. They're both running on quad-core, I think, and who cares? I mean, it's an iPad. It really doesn't need to be running a quad-core, but whatever. It's fast. Just take my word for it. Both of them are pretty fast and fast for my use anyway. Um, so I guess this four, uh, five little dots, it's little, yeah, circular dots. It's the T-Mobile 3G, 3G Wi-Fi. Oh, sorry, 3G signal for T-Mobile. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's just like, so they, in Apple, they replaced the triple okay. button. Well, now it's set to be doing um, Siri, I guess. Oh, some voice. voice yeah, some voice volume. Oh, that's another feature I like very much. I could do another review video. Um, For the ISO 7, it has a voice on, voice off option that you press home triple button. You can set that function in settings and you get voice on. What happens is if you read your Kindle book or you read like a Safari page and you want the iPad to read it for you like in Kindle, the traditional Kindle DX, iPad can do that now. If you read Kindle, it can actually read out loud. But it doesn't go through Kindle, it goes through the iPad iOS, iOS 7 software, which I thought is pretty, it's, it's brilliant for them to have that, um, for Apple to have this function. It's a s simple function, but it, it's very helpful. I don't know why I didn't have before, but I, I, I'm not a big fan on the graphic that moves, you know, like the background graphics moves with the iPad. Not a big fan on that. It's kind of slowed down the whole... Uh, iPad using experience, but let me just go grab something really quick. Get my white coat and show you why this is.
Okay, um, let's take a trip to the mirror. Again, I don't have a tripod, so I'm going to switch it up to do it this way. Um, in a sec. Okay, so this is my half of my room. Uh, I have a, well, ignore the rest of the room. I have like a little gym set in my living room anyways. Uh, so this is my iPad, iPad Air. It's pretty nice. Um, it's black, grayish, it's gray. And this is what I got it for. See this white coat? It fits right in. And um, it actually has a little bit of space left for you to put a case over. So what's gonna happen is this iPad Air is gonna come with me in rounds and when I go running around in the hospital. Um, this will work great for a medical student, a physician, a resident, or even an attending and... Um, hold on, I'll just show you. Look, I'm doing this with one hand. I really hope I don't freaking break this. Ah. I pay, um, I pay more than a laptop's price for this silly iPad. Okay, uh, I want to show you that it will oh, not maybe not this pocket it has stuff on it. Okay, uh, uh, so this is me trying to do this one hand, and hopefully I don't drop my iPad. Okay, uh, uh, I can do, I can do it. This is too hard. I, I can do it one hand, but trust me, it fits in the inner pocket as well, I think. Yeah, it does. Alright, so see, this is my white coat. And this is my inside pocket of my white coat. iPad fits right in. The iPad Air fits very well. And from outside, you can barely tell that I have an iPad on me. As you can see, and once you put a case over and put a protective like gloss over the screen, this will come very handy running around in the hospital or clinic or you know private doctor's office. I, I think this will work great for whoever wears a white coat. So doctors, nurses, medical students, and physician assistants. Even maybe the vet vets the vets will also get a you know the veterinarians will also get a very good uh, portability with the iPad and this is now this is my iPad Air inside my white coat and with a stethoscope stack in so it's so slim now it actually fit into the white coat on top of that you can fit something else in it like a stethoscope. So, but be careful of pulling out a stethoscope because when you do this, the iPad might just fly out. And so, uh, it definitely needs to have a decent case for prevent from dropping. And I would recommend, I would definitely recommend for people who can't change the iPad screen, get the Apple Care Plus. So how that works is, you, I think you pay a hundred dollars. No, I'm pretty sure you pay a hundred dollars for the Apple Care Plus within the first six, 30 days of the purchase of your iPad. You can do that, and then um, oh shit, I'm breaking either the iPad or my glass. All right, so um, Apple Care Plus is the first 30 days. Oh, sh okay, no, I didn't break my iPad. All right, it's not that fragile. There we go. Seriously, iOS 7 skit. It's me sometimes, it's just weird things I don't want it to do. Anyways, Apple Care Plus, which I didn't get, only because I can I can change the screen myself, I don't see the point of buying it, but for the rest of you that don't want to do that, you know, change your screen for no reason, um, buy the Apple Care Plus, it's only $100, and for within that two year period since you purchased your iPad after the Apple Care Plus, kick in. Um, within that two period peri two years period, you can drop, you can drew a drew with a power tool through your iPad or run through with a car and throw it on a train, off a train, uh, drown it in water, take it to I don't know, dip it in sea salt water or whatever. What people do nowadays with the iPad. Um, drop in toilet. 
you can get a replacement twice within that two, two year period. So you could do that twice to your iPad and Apple will replace it. However, each time of the replacement, you have to pay $4.99 something, for, uh, sorry, $49 or something. It's about $50 repair fee or replacement fee for Apple to re give you a replacement with um, a new iPad, refurbished iPad Air. Um, so yeah, that's the catch. So it's actually not a hundred dollars. It's a hundred and fifty. Depends how many times you replace it. To me, that's not quite worth it, considering I can change the screen myself, and that will cost about a hundred and fifty by the time I break it. I hope if I break it now, I'll, I'll be screwed because this screen is probably costing like three hundred dollars of the uh, touch screen because it just came out. So yeah, I'm gonna try not to break it. Otherwise, I'll cry a little bit. But. For the rest of you, get Apple Care Plus. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. So again, I am super excited. I I need to get a protective case for it before I can take it this out with my white coat. Um, so yeah, to my doctor or physician friends or whoever wears a white coat, whatever whoever you are, get iPad Air. It's great. Um, from what I heard, actually what I saw what people do in the hospital is that um, okay look, you might want to tape this camera otherwise the, it might be a hip hop violation I don't know because it's like it's gonna be like some, you know you never know it's, some people might just like filming the entire hospital walking around but yeah I'm, so, I'm sure someone's gonna complain that you're having a camera showing off in your white coat anyways I digress um, so what I was trying to say is iPad mini can be fit into a scrub pocket. So you see that little green thing? For scrubs, you wear, it's kind of like a pajama kind of pants with a pocket in the back. For those of you who wear scrubs, you know what I'm talking about. You have a little back pocket here. And iPad mini fits in, apparently. So iPad mini is another, uh, probably another good purchase for those of you who wear scrubs a lot. Um, the downside of doing this is that, you know, getting the most expensive iPad you can possibly get uh, right now in store and put it in your white coat is that sometimes you, don't, you have to put your white coats away in a uh, coat closet or uh, changing room or whatever. Um, people could steal it and when they do steal it, you lose everything. All the investment you're putting, all the money you invested in, you know, 128 gigabytes of space and 3G model become worthless. Literally, uh, that's devastating. Um, so, I don't know, take your pick. You could either get a 16 gigabytes or get 128 gigabytes. And if you if you lose the 16 gigabytes um, uh, iPad Air with your Y code, um, I'll quite, you quite a little bit less. And if you do drop it, or whatever reason, because you abuse your Y code with you know, all your other toys, expensive toys, um, and you break the iPad somehow, you can always go get another one from Apple Store for $50 replacement, assuming you get the Apple Care Plus. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much my opinion on iPad Air and this is just awesome. I have a full size iPad in my white coat. Right now I cannot find anything as big as the 9.7 9 inch screen on iPad and that fits in white coat. Um, some of my colleagues use uh, the Samsung, I guess, I, I don't know anything of the Samsung tablets, but they use a Samsung tablet and they love it. They try to convince me not to get an iPad Air, but I did it anyway. Um, I, I, don't, I just don't like the Android platform, I don't know. But, um, so yeah, those Samsungs and iPad mini used to be what I see people carry around in hospital. Um, so now the iPad Air fits, and the reason I didn't get the iPad Mini before or a Samsung tablet is because it's so small. It's like, what's the point of reading off on an iPad Mini screen for PDF file or for like an article or journal review um, when you can read your stuff on off your phone and it's not that much size difference since you can see anyway. It's, it's the, all the letters are so small in the PDF files. But with a full size iPad, I wish it could get bigger, but. You know, whatever. It fits in my pocket. Yeah. I could read all the PDF I want and all the ebooks, all the textbooks and, you know, Atlas and stuff. Um, yeah. So you can check in our patient's chart. If you're having, if your hospital has the electromedical record, 
and you can check out um, just look at all random stuff like you know random stuff drugs and medications and um, any random war that you're attending use that you don't understand <laughs> um, yeah you can put all your entire textbook, flashcards, everything into your iPad. I was always been doing that. And for your lecture videos, like if your if your school or your hospital gives out lecture videos, you can put everything on load everything onto your iPad, stream it or whatever, and then now you have a full size iPad screen and fits right into your four pockets that you have. I can fit it anywhere. One, two, three, four on this white coat. And on top of that, you can even fit, again, I already done this before, but you know, it's just like, I'm, I'm so impressed, I'm gonna do this again. Um, you can fit this with a stethoscope. That's just how big this pocket become with this little teeny iPad. And, okay, so another spoiler. This is what I'm planning to do. I'm gonna buy one of those uh, tempered glass. Uh, it's really like, it, Okay, anyway, I'm not gonna get into temp how to make a tempered glass, but in short, it's a glass that's designed to be bulletproof, but this is not bulletproof. Tempered glass that uh, I'm gonna put on, it's only 4mm in, um, in thickness, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna tape on it, and it's gonna look just, it's like a piece of glass on top of an iPad, and you can bend it all you want. I don't have it now, otherwise we'll be bending it. And all you want onto the surface and without actually damaging the iPad. It will make a little micro scratch. You can see the scratch, but I don't really care about the scratch. The point is that if I put a pen in here or I step on it, um, I can't damage the iPad with the tempered glass on top of it. And all you need from the back is some case, like a silicone case or some thin case that can prevent uh, significant damage and dent when you drop it and then it will still fit into the white coat jacket. That's, again, that's the most important thing to me. So there we go. Okay, so this is my review of my, my iPad Air. And I'm happy with my purchase. Post below on, in the comment and tell me about your experience. Um, especially if you're wearing a white coat and you have an iPad Air and tell me how you like it. Thank you very much for watching and Now it's 11, now it's 10 o'clock, so see you later. Bye-bye now.